In 2023, Tesla deployed 14.7 gigawatt hours of energy, of batteries. That was an increase of 125% on the previous year. So 2023 was an unbelievable year for Tesla's energy storage division. But it's absolutely nothing in comparison to what Tesla just did. What they just signed is the biggest contract, I believe in the history of the world, for a single battery for a single battery contract and this this is historic i mean these numbers are so enormous that i don't think people understand tesla basically just signed a contract for billions and billions of dollars of profits hello my friends welcome to the channel i'm sam evans you're watching the electric viking it's phenomenal to see you guys now i want to say a big thank you to our youtube members and of course patreon members as well guys there is um, a new video up on the YouTube member site today. By the end of 2023, Tesla had grown its energy storage division by 125% versus the previous year, which was amazing. So Tesla deployed 14.7 gigawatt hours of batteries last year. Massive, massive number. Clearly grew faster than Tesla's EV sales, significantly faster. Musk has said this a few times, right? Energy storage will be the fastest growing segment of our business. There's no question. Well, a lot of people at the time didn't think much about what he said, but now experts are saying between today and 2030, battery deployments worldwide will grow by 600%. 600%. It's the fastest growing industry in the world. Faster than solar, faster than wind, faster than, faster than artificial intelligence. It's crazy, right? So Tesla has now signed a contract for 15.3 gigawatt hours of capacity. So one single contract is more, more batteries than Tesla's entire output for 2023. More than the entire output. And this is one single contract. So you can see guys how, if you really were to say today, Tesla is just a car company, you, you honestly, that is incredibly stupid because the reality is, by 2030, it's very likely Tesla will actually make more money from batteries. In fact, it could even happen earlier than that. It could even happen by 2028. Tesla landed this massive contract with Intersect Power for an insanely large battery energy storage system project using 15.3 gigawatt hours of megapacks. Now guys, this contract signing has, well, it's just apparently been signed within the last couple of days, but Within the last couple of days, Tesla also began building the biggest battery here in Australia. And it's about the third biggest battery in the world. So you, you can see here, these battery, I don't know how Tesla's even gonna get enough cells for all this, but fortunately it doesn't have to deploy all these batteries all at once. Putting this size into perspective though, Tesla delivered four gigawatt hours of batteries in the first quarter of this year and 9.4 gigawatt hours in total in Q2. So, so far this year, Tesla has delivered about 13 and a half gigawatt hours of batteries worldwide. And this contract is for even more than that, 15.3. That is still pretty surprising though, considering Tesla increased its energy deployment of, of, of battery megapacks in Q2 by 132%. Now imagine what this is gonna do to the numbers. Tesla and Intersect Power, a US-based clean energy company, agreed to the terms of this battery energy storage project and set dates for when these batteries will have to be deployed. That's gonna happen relatively soon. Tesla will deploy around 10 gigawatt hours of large-scale energy storage to the site between now and 2027. The full 15.3 gigawatt hours of storage will be supplied before 2030. So we don't know exactly when, but it will be worth more than $3 billion. Here's what the CEO of Intersect Power had to say. No one in the market can match Tesla's depth of experience in storage technology. This partnership is the foundation of one of the largest and fastest growing storage portfolios in the country here at Intersect Power. This storage franchise is the perfect complement to our multi-billion dollar expansion of renewable generation that is expected to more than triple the size of our company over the next three years. Now guys, a lot of people are thinking, what the hell is Musk doing? Why is he aligning with Trump? It doesn't make sense because Trump is going to remove EV incentives. Well, maybe maybe um, there's a bit more to that story, but maybe Trump is saying to Musk privately, 
will help you grow your energy division storage. We'll, we'll kind of protect, protect that a little bit. I'm just speculating here. Tesla will install the Megapacks at Intersect Power Projects in 2025 and 2026. All of these Megapack batteries will be built at Tesla's factory in Lathrop. Now, does Tesla currently manufacture the cells? It does not. The cells come from CATL in China, but it's believed that Tesla are going to be building a, well, an enormous factory in America next year where they will actually produce CATL batteries themselves under license from CATL. And this would make sense. Tesla obviously know they need the cheapest battery cells they can get that last the longest they can possibly last for. That's what is the case with CATL batteries. They will last around twice as long as previous generation batteries and they are very affordable, lithium ion phosphate batteries, which apparently CATL say will last for 25 or more years and provide you the equivalent of about a 1.8 million miles of driving in an EV, if you were to put them in an EV. But anyway, the point is here, that more and more companies are gonna to say to Tesla, we want these mega packs because previously they would have lasted half as long. So you're getting these mega packs now, but not only are they cheaper now, they're also gonna last twice as long. And Tesla has huge experience with this. Now, as you, as you can see here, the CEO of this company has said, why are we going with Tesla? Well, the reason is because they have a huge amount of experience. The software, the integration, right? Getting this all to work. We don't have to worry about it all. Tesla will handle all this stuff for us. It's not the first time these two companies have worked together, says Teslarati. Tesla supplied mega packs for 2.4 gigawatt hours of intersect power, solar, plus storage facilities that are in operation or currently under construction. These locations include, says Teslarati, a one gigawatt hour battery at the Oberon Solar Plus storage facility and a 448 megawatt hour battery in operation at the Athos three storage solar plus storage facility in California. Also a one gigawatt hour at the Radian and Lumina solar plus storage facility in Texas, which will be fully operational by the end of 2024. Tesla Energy will have an, an well, this battery deployment will have an enormous impact on Tesla's financials positively over the long term. This is what Tesla's growth is really depending on, not necessarily EV sales, but I think it's more artificial intelligence in terms of full self-driving, energy deployment, and also robotics with Tesla's bot. I think that's the key, they're the three pillars of Tesla's future business. It makes sense. The Chinese bloodbath, right? The war, the race to the bottom in terms of um, selling things cheap, that does not affect those other industries yet. So this all makes total logical sense. It actually helps us. It will help bring down the power of, the cost of power, the cost of electricity. It will also enormously transform the, gear, the grid. Battery deployment projects around the world are having an enormous impact on grids because they're, make, they're making us, they're enabling the solid duct curve to be flattened out. And flattening out that curve means you can, instead of using these uh, pika plants or coal power, power plants, coal power plants or gas power plants, using those in the evening. Instead of that, you tr transition away to using a combination of wind power and battery energy storage in the evening and through the night as well. And what this will mean is fossil fuels worldwide will actually go extinct in terms of energy production much, much faster than what experts believe they would. If you don't believe me, have a look at exactly what's happening in California right now. That is a template for the future of the planet.